In this video, we go over how to do medical dosage calculations. Let's take a look. So this one says we have Zantac 300 milligrams PO daily at bedtime. All right, so we need 300 milligrams. Each tablet is 150 milligrams. So you multiply that by one tablet over 150 milligrams. Notice how the milligrams are going to cancel out. 300 divided by 150 is exactly half, so it's going to be two tablets. So in order to get 300 milligrams, they need to take two of these tablets. So this problem says Synthroid 0.15 milligrams orally daily. Okay, we have available Synthroid tablets labeled at 75 mcg. Remember that's micro grams. So remember a microgram is 10 to negative 6 and a milligram is 10 to negative 3. So first let's convert the 75 micrograms to milligrams. So we're changing from negative 6 to negative 3. So we need to move it three places. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that's going to be 0 0.0 75 milligrams. Now if we need 0 0.15 milligrams in each tablet, is 0 0.075 milligrams. Let's apply that out. 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.075 will give you two tablets. So in order to get 0.15 milligrams, they need to take two tablets. So in this problem, we're ordering diazepam 4 milligrams via nasogastric tube TID. Remember, TID is three times a day. And we have available diazepam oral solution 5 milligrams per 5 milliliters. So to solve this problem, we can just do a proportion. If we have 5 milligrams per 5 milliliters of solution, and we need 4 milligrams, so we say 4 milligrams on top to x milliliters. So from there, we just cross multiply and solve for unknown. So we have 5 times 4 is equal 5 times x. All right, get the x by itself, divide by what's in front of it, by 5. So x is 5 times 4 divided by 5, which leaves you with 4. Okay, so we need 4 milliliters. And now the client is getting three of these a day, so four milligrams times three, they receive a total of 12 milligrams. So in this problem, we're saying we're ordering Norvas five milligrams daily. And we have available 2.5 milligrams in one tablet. So if we need five milligrams, and each tablet is 2.5 milligrams. Multiply those together. Remember, the milligrams cancel out. 5 divided by 2.5 is going to give you 2. So it needs 2 tablets. So in this problem, we're ordering Pendolol 5 milligrams PO bid for one week. And then increase it to 10 milligrams BID for the second week. And we have available Pendolo tablets labeled 5 milligrams. So remember, BID means twice a day. So how many tablets will the client need for the first week? So we need 5 milligrams. And each tablet... is five milligrams. 
you're going to need one tablet. You're going to need one tablet for each dose. You need to do it twice a day. So two tablets a day. You want to do it for one week or seven days. So time seven days. So you're going to need 14 tablets that first week. Then how many tablets will the client need for the second week? Here we need a dosage to be 10 milligrams twice a day. So I'm going to say 10 milligrams times one tablet. And one tablet is 5 milligrams. So 10 divided by 5 is just 2. So two tablets. Two tablets twice a day. Okay, so for seven days. We have two times two times seven, leave you 28. So they're going to need 28 tablets for the second week. So this problem is saying they're ordering Coreg 6.25 milligrams VID, so twice a day. And we have available Coreg tablets labeled 3.125 milligrams. So how many tablets should the client receive per dosage? So if we need 6.25 milligrams, we know each tablet is 3.125 milligrams. Let's do 6.25 divided by 3.125. That's going to give us 2. So 2 tablets per dosage. And then how many milligrams will the client receive per day? So we're doing BID, so it's twice per day. So 6.25 milligrams times 2 can give you the 12.5. Okay, they're going to have four tablets in order to get that. Each tablet was 3.125. You take two dosage. You take two tablets per dosage and then twice a day. So a total of 12.5 milligrams. So in this problem it says the order is Lovenox 50 milligrams instantaneously BID. So that's under the skin twice a day. We have available 60 milligrams per 0.6 milliliters. How many milliliters will you administer? So we need 50 milligrams and each tablet is 60 milligrams per 0.6 milliliters. So we need milligrams go on the bottom, so 60, and then the milliliters on top. So milligrams will cancel out. So you take 50 times 0.6, then divide by 60, and that gives you 0.5. So 0.5 milliliters. Okay, so there's 60 milligrams per 0.6, so we need 50, we know we need less than 0.6, so in this case it's going to be 0.5 milliliters. Now you can also set up a proportion, that's what I showed in other problems, we have 60 milligrams per 0.6 milliliters, and we need 50 milligrams, that's going to be per x milliliters, unknown, cross multiply, So 50 times 0.6 equals 60x. Divide both sides by 60. So that's going to be 50 times 0.6 divided by 60. So it's the same process. So either way you want to think of it. So there are two ways to do this type of problem. You can set up a proportion, or you can multiply it out using the you know dimensional analysis. 50 milligrams times 0.6 milliliters over 60 milligrams. So however you want to think of it, either proportion or dimensional analysis. So in this problem we have pancuronium 1.6 milligram IV stat and we have available 2 milligrams per milliliter. Alright, so if we need 1.6 milligrams and we have basically 1 milliliter 
will give you two milligrams. We'll apply those together. We say 1.6 divided by two will give you 0 0.8 milliliters. So we need to administer 0.8 milliliters. So in this problem, we ordered vancomycin 1 gram and 250 milliliters of normal saline to infuse over one hour. And our drop factor is 10 drops per milliliter. We'll be at a drip rate per minute to the nearest whole number. All right, so we have 250 milliliters over one hour. That's our goal. And our drop rate, 10 drops per milliliter. We need to divert our hours to minutes, so one hour over 60 minutes. And our milliliter is going to cancel out. Hour is going to cancel out. It's going to leave us with drops per minute. Okay, so again, it's going to be 250 times 10. That's going to be in parentheses. Divided by parentheses and we just have 1 times 1 times 60, so just 60. This will give us 41.7, and we need to round that to the nearest whole number, so 42 drops per minute. So in this problem, it says we're going to order normal saline 1,000 milliliters over 12 hours, and our drop factor is 15 drops per milliliter. So this one, we're going to take 1,000 milliliters. We want that over... 12 hours, multiply by our drop factor, so 15 drops per milliliter. And now we need to convert our hours to minutes, so one hour is to 60 minutes. And our milliliters cancel out, hours cancel out, it's going to leave us with our drops per minute. We're going to take 1,000 times 15, remember the parentheses, divided by 12 times 60. This can give us 20.8, and we can't have a 0.8 of a drop, so we need to round to 21. So 21 drops per minute. All right, and this problem says we're gonna order Lactated ringers, 1,000 milliliters to infuse over eight hours. And our drop factor is 60 drops per milliliter. So we need 1,000 milliliters over a period of eight hours. Multiply by our drop factor. So 60 drops per milliliter. We need to convert hours to minutes. So one hour over 60 minutes. Okay, milliliters drop out, hours drops out. It's going to give us our drops per minute. We're going to take 1,000 times 60 divided by 8 times 60. This going to give us 125. So 125 drops per minute. All right, I want to thank you for watching this video on medical dosage calculations. Remember to check out our channel to see other related videos. Thanks.